What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today what I have for you guys is my first video in a while and it's going to be my first impressions of the Infinite Warfare beta, the good and the bad because there will be both. Uh, but before we get into this video, I do want to apologize for the lack of videos the last couple of weeks. Um, there's just been a lot going on with my tooth, um, uh, wisdom tooth breaking off and having to deal with an infection. I literally could not talk for almost four days. Um, the medicine that they put me on made me really tired and I just, I couldn't get on a play. I couldn't make videos. Um, and then right after that happened, we had, um, Hurricane Matthew come in, um, we were without power for a couple of days. Um, just a lot of damage to the Florida area where I live. Um, not too much to where I live, but in other areas. But we were without power for a couple of days. Um, but with all that going on, just wanted to take a little time off to recharge. Um, and I know things were kind of dead between Black Ops 3 at the moment. So I uh, figured I'd take a break. But I'm back now. Um, we're going to get into the grind of things. Uh, we have the Infinite Warfare beta this weekend and next weekend for PlayStation 4, um, and then Xbox One next weekend. Um, but the gun, the game you're seeing in the background is Gun Game. Um, it was added into the beta yesterday um, or today, as the time of this video I'm recording it. Um, but so, what I want to talk to you about today is the good and the bad about Infinite Warfare, um, or at least the beta so far, because I know things are going to change between now and then there's some good things and there's some bad things so let's go ahead and start with the good stuff the good stuff is the guns play really well I've heard a lot of youtubers talk about it the guns are really well rounded I know there will be buffs I know there will be nerfs um, because there are some overpowered guns with certain attachments and stuff like that but other than that I mean they're really well rounded I find myself using a lot of the guns in the game um, I am gravitating more towards the N4, um, I think that's what it's called, the first ever the assault rifle that you get, um, and I think it's the ERAD, the first sub that you get, um, I've been gravitating more to those two, but I find myself going out of just using subs and ARs, I'm using shotguns a lot more, I'm using LMGs a lot more, I'm using snipers more, which I don't ever snipe, so that's a good thing. Um, Another good thing is three of the four maps that we got were really good and I really enjoy playing them. Um, I enjoy Throwback, which is the map that you're seeing right now, um, because it's you can you can snipe, you can play close, and you can play mid range, um, which makes these maps really well rounded. And actually, the three maps that I like actually all play like that. Um, they're really well open so you can so you're not too cluttered but they're also small enough to where you can play close quarters um and i like the feel of this map i like the aesthetics of this map um how you have the burger joint and the the bowling place in the back over there and then you have the the barn on the other side it's kind of a diverse feel um but the maps are really good they're really well rounded just like the weapons um, the game modes are really well rounded like on gun game I find myself playing a lot better because the rotations are better and the one thing I like about gun game is that it's not the same rotation over and over and over again it mixes up the rotations and it actually uses the classic weapons um, unlike other Call of Duties like Black Ops 3 where you would get the DLC weapons and they wouldn't implement them into gun game but they would into zombies um uh another good thing is that um they're they're not strictly in space um and that's another thing that i know a lot of people were worried about is all the maps being taken place in space um there's going to be a majority of the maps that are going to be on earth um there will be some that are in space but the ones that are in space are really nice um but now let's get into the bad um, there's only a few things that are bad about it. Um, that would be the movement seems really clunky and really just, it doesn't feel right. Um, the developer said it would play like Black Ops 3 movement, but it just doesn't feel like that. It feels really slow. Black Ops 3 movement is really fast. Um, and I know this is the beta and I know this is going to change, but, um, 
it's just it, it's clunky and I don't like it. Another thing I don't like is the last map that I haven't talked about, Frontline. I cannot stand that map. I feel like that's going to be snipers because you have that middle corridor that's just going to be snipers all day. And then when you're trying to weave around the map, um, I find myself getting shot in the back way too much. It reminds me of Cove on Black Ops 2. It was a DLC map from uh, Black Ops 2. And it just, every time I turned around, I was getting shot in the back. And I don't like that. Um, and then it's just, I don't know. Um, the servers, the matchmaking hasn't been that great. I know they, they patched that on Saturday morning. But it still feels like it's taking a really, really long time to um, to get into, you know, to get into the the matches. And, in, and the last thing that I don't like, and normally I do like this, but I don't in this game because I feel like it's going to make hardcore mode a lot easier is that the the health is so low and I have some friends of mine that um that feel the same way it's just I don't like the fact that the the game the the health is so low I feel like I'm getting killed you know really really quickly in core which shouldn't be and I don't feel like I have a chance to actually to to win a gunfight so I feel like that should be changed to up the health a little bit and then um, the hit detection I know I've seen a lot of youtubers say they like the hit detection I don't I feel like it's it's not accurate um, because I'll be shooting at somebody and then they'll kill me I'll see the kill cam and it won't act as if I hit them at all when I know I did but Overall, I'm going to give the game, the beta, a 7 out of 10, um, and I think it's going to be better than people expected. I think they're changing their minds a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit, um, and I think the full build of the game will wow some people. So, I give it a 7 out of 10. If the movement gets better, and the, the matchmaking gets better, and the hit detection and stuff like that gets better, I think it could be a really good game. And then we also have COD 4 Remastered coming out too, so... That's, um, that's, you know, going to be great for this year of Call of Duty. We have two really solid games. Infinite, I know Modern Warfare will take a higher, uh, I know Infinite Warfare will take a backseat to COD 4 Remastered, but I think this is going to be a really good year for Call of Duty, um, and I do not think Call of Duty is dead. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Um, let me know what you think of in the beta if you've gotten a chance to play it. Leave those in the comment section. And as always, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.